to Belfast for the 2008 edition of UK Strongest Man. And this man, Andy Kearney of Scotland, scored an impressive eight points as he won the Viking Press. But one man is waiting in the wings to knock him off his perch. My name is Jimmy Marco. I live in London for 12 years. I'm origin from Albania, North Albania. Jimmy! Jimmy! I started in 2006 as, a, as more than a last to see how I did. And I qualified for England and I won it that year. This year I won the England three years in a row and I won the Britain. So looking forward to the Worlds now. I like to win the Worlds and that's as far as it goes. And probably get invitation to, to I know, Classic. That will be my aim. I don't have many weakness on me. Only weakness is, is the stones. I'm a bit short, just a little bit short. But if I wear high heels, I think I'll be all right. But I, they're not allowed to wear them, so... Event two, the Sweetie Snatcher. Two athletes, mano a mano, have to pull each other over the grey lines. In this weather, who knows the outcome? From England, now residing in London. Well, certainly Rich Gorvin and Dave Warner, the 2-2 match-up uh, in the first of these contests. And this is pretty tough, incidentally. I just wonder who will prevail here. And it looks as though uh, Dave Warner had a good start there, and yet they've started again. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, Dave's a real robust character. Yeah, he's just got the raw tools and ingredients to uh, do the business here. Well, they're tied in the Viking press, of course, but there's an outstanding win for Dave Warner here. It's going really well so far. Um, very happy. Um, a lot of young guys here, a lot younger than me, so I'm happy so far. But it's only two events. This one's still got a lot of points at stake, so fingers crossed. Well, certainly James uh, Fenley from uh, Kilkenny, Mike uh, Williams from Cardiff next up. And of course, neither of them scored in the Viking press in the first of the activities, so this is a big one for them. Yeah, I'd expect James Fenley to do very well here. Strong back, strong grip, you know, all the tools for this event. And that's the way it seems to be going at the moment, brought to order just for the moment by the referee. It's that sudden jerky pull which uh, really gets your opponent going. Just for the moment, a bit of a comeback from Mike Williams, but then all of a sudden, that final exertion gives uh, a James Fenley the win. Yep, and over the line. Almost a point there when it went the other way, but then all of a sudden it had gone, and uh, Williams was beat. Well, Jimmy Marku versus uh, versus Dave uh, McEnany. Marku on the left, as you look. Oh, look at this! He's being pulled away. Is, is uh, Marku on this one? He's always been the strong man in the past, and uh, with terrific athleticism. Oh, he's lost it. Yeah, good win, a very good win there, wasn't it, by Dave uh, McEnany. He said he's not here. He's not here for the places. He's here to win this, and it, really the emphasis we've seen in the first of the activities and in this, very, very fine indeed. Yeah, big, strong guy, and uh, beating the weather elements as well. Well, we've now got uh, Ken Nowicki and Andy Kearney. Nowicki and Kearney, these two. And, uh, of course, the advantage should be with uh, Kearney on this one. Look at this. I was just looking for the lie, just pulling him over at will at the moment. A little bit of resistance at the end. Yeah, Kearney's a lot stronger. Well, remember, he got that uh, the 15 presses on the uh, Viking press, so he was in very good form after the first session, so he's got another chance to go. You go through to the semi-final. <coughs> so here is the first of the semi-finals. Dave Warner versus uh, James Fennelly. Fennelly there in your picture right now. <laughs> oh, that's a lack of grip. And you know, we've mentioned the weather several times, but the rain, uh, it's very slippery on the foot. You can see that the rain is still falling. It's a little bit lighter now. But uh, the grip, absolutely of paramount importance, and there is hardly a resistance at all there from James uh, Fennelly, and Dave Warner goes through with ease. Well, for this event, the weather conditions are horrendous, and no one wants to get injured in an early stage of the competition. Well, Dave uh, McEnany versus Andy Kearney. Well, this will be a good one. 
Very tough and Kearney needs this. He did so well in the previous event and he's being pulled away on this one. And McEnany doing very well indeed and McEnany wins it. Well done, sir. Yeah, it's that big brute from the northeast again. Let's have a look how it happened. Look at this. Over the line. Okay, take it good. Now that this is a third and fourth playoff, uh, but they're looking for six points here. The third place will get six. And uh, Kearney versus Fennelly, and I would think that Kearney would come away with this one, surely. He's almost to the line now. Fennelly desperately trying to hold him off, but I think it's gone already. He's, oh, I thought he'd given that, but look at this, what a comeback. Yeah, but James hasn't got both his feet on the floor. He needs to be driving with both legs. Well, there was a little bit of resistance there from James Fennelly. That was a very good performance, but all of a sudden it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, and Andy Kearney gets six points. Fennelly gets five. Now they've got uh, the final. And, uh, of course, we've got Dave Warner versus Dave uh, McEnany. And so we look at that uh, third and fourth playoff again. It's a good competition, actually. Now then, here come the big fellas, Warner and McEnany. Now then, who's going to take this? What do you reckon? Yeah, well, it's going to be a close call. I mean, uh, both these guys have been awesome all the way through. They're both evenly matched. I'd put my money on Dave Warner. Well, Warner now starting to pull his man away. Got the momentum. He's actually so powerful. That pull is so powerful. Oh, look at this. Resistance. And this is a very, very much uh, a keener competition, certainly. Now then, Warner. But you can see how Dave Warner's getting low and driving with both feet. Yeah, indeed, he got good leg action, leg action into that, didn't he? Warner takes it. Warner takes it for eight points. And McEnany gets seven. Good competition, that one, though. Good final. Look at this. Your point you made about low legs, low body, low centre of gravity prevailed. Oh, a bit life left in the old dog yet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's very hard, firstly, to hold on. You see the, the chalk comes straight off your hands. Um, and then the grip on the floor, slip, Rich fell on his backside and he got up and I think he lost his confidence uh, in the floor, which made, perhaps made it a little easier for me to give him a, a pull back, but uh, we were quite well matched because we were a very similar weight, so, you know, it was never going to be really easy. A win for Ireland then of Dave Warner wins the Sweetie Snatcher over Dave McEnany, Andy Kearney coming third but Mike Williams of Wales and Ken Nowicki of Scotland trailing the pack. So that win for Dave Warner puts him at the top of Group B and Andy Kearney just half a point behind. But Jimmy Marku surprisingly trailing in fifth place. Mike Williams, Ken Nowicki facing elimination. So Dave Warner then looking stronger and stronger as the competition goes through and coming up after the break it'll be this event the brick deadlift 